Hi, hello, vanakkam and welcome back to at another episode on Little Sla YouTube channel. So today we are in the day six video, and in our previous video we saw how to create a web application script. So let me open it, script one, and here we can see the script one that we have created in our previous uh, demo. So in this video, I told that I will be showing you how to create a web API script. But before that, let me tell you a few things which I have missed already. Uh, so in the very first video, I have told you that I will be fill in the gaps wherever I find time. So today, in this video, we will fill few gaps. So the first thing is the phase one. So we have written here that we will be identifying the test environment, the application, the URL and the next point is who will be giving us this details or who is the one that we have to reach out for collecting the details so we can collect we can make it us from or collect the details from so this will be mostly from the business analyst or the functional testing team or the developer so mostly we will be getting this details from the developers or the business analyst because they will have the exact URL the correct URL that we are supposed to test and then we will have to confirm that with the functional testers or with the team that who is responsible for the previous set of testing the functional testing team or the automation testing team so we will have to consider this because we must not be fuzzing around looking for details like who will be giving which one which details or the other thing and then when coming to the next phase so in this phase this has to be given collect from so this has to be given either by the business or the business analyst you must not go to the developer or the functional tester to check for these so this has to be either from the business or from the business analyst or either from your manager who discusses who dis makes continuous discussions with the team and there is other thing there is one more thing which i will tell you at the end of this uh, complete demo this series because this performance testing or the performance engineering that we are doing now should be part of the sprint planning or the agile planning in that way we will be part of all these discussions and we will be aware of whatever we want so we will have that as a separate video like what is the role of the performance engineer in the agile or in the sprints or in the scrum then coming to the phase three so these items again like the same way so we have to collect it from the business or the business analyst who talks with the respective stakeholders so now let's see so f f let's fix until the phase three i will take you through the next phases in the next video so before that let me tell you one more thing so if you remember we were discussing about these load test days so these are the days that we have planned for load testing but have we ever discussed about what is the time taken to complete this script say for example if we are having these many number of scripts like we have eight scenarios and do we ever estimated the effort so let me take you through that part so here let me add the estimation so take for example the first thing is we will need to let me add another column here one more column so first we will have to decide the complexity of the script and that's the first step because that will help us to understand how that will help us to analyze how much time do we need so the complexity here so the complexity of this script it depends um, for the fresher who is very new to performance engineering he might feel this script as a little complex and for a one who is intermediate this might be medium and for those who have a very good experience they might feel this as very simple so it all depends so it has to be defined based on who is going to take this so it has to be either simple or medium or complex and in that case so when we discuss this as simple or medium or complex how many days does it take so if it is a simple script it has to take one day if it is a medium it has to take two days and if it is complex it has to take three days if it is really really complex and when it comes to 
simple medium and complex this involves these following steps so we have to create the script we'll have to parameterize we'll have to correlate set the correct transaction names so whatever so setting the correct transaction names inserting think time planning all the pacing the iteration so everything has to be completed in one single day if you feel that script is simple and in case if you feel that this it is medium you can complete the script on the very first day and do few of these and then complete the entire thing so the script has to be entirely and completely ready when you feel that it is ready for adding it to the the jmeter part like where you are supposed to do the testing so this is how we have to plan or we have to estimate the effort so effort in days so this is how we have to plan for the creation of the scripts and based on this we can identify say for example if we are having a team of intermediates in this team and then we are deciding all these scripts to be medium and then this will take two days for each script and the total number of days is let's sum it up the total number of days is 16 and when it comes to number of testers so in case if you have three or four you can automatically divide these and then we can confirm so in case if you have two testers who are both intermediate and then it automatically takes eight days to complete the script so this is how we can estimate because most of the times the manager or your supervisor must will come to you in case if you are taking the responsibility of the entire performance engineering so they must come to you and they will ask so how much days do you need to complete this task so you must not get into your confusion you should come up with this table and you should tell them that see this is the actual effort that we need and this is the complexity of the script and this is how many days it takes and then and and on top of it i i normally do so i normally add at least two days two days as a buffer and the reason to add this is there might be some last minute deployments that will be going on or the application so something like last minute changes or there could be the application might not be stable or the functional testing team so most of us would have felt the heat so functional testing team would need more days they must need one or two days extra or the automation teams must have you or must be using the environment so all so considering all these facts you must have at least 25% of your so this has to be 25% it's not uh, simply two it has to be 25% of your actual effort which is 2% in this two days in this example so it has to be totally 10 days so based on this we can arrange everything and there is one more thing which is the from the day one if you start creating the scripts you have to set up all the other required things because you will have to collect the test data which either we have to check like who is the stakeholder of it whether it is the dev team or whether it is the functional testing team or it is either the performance testing team who will use some scripts to create the required test data so i think i have discussed a lot about the process in this video so let's go uh, to the jmeter and let's complete this part very quick so let's see how to create the api script as part of this uh, demo so for that i have created a separate thread group and i have disabled the previous thread group so that i can create this thread group without any confusion so let me open the thread group now so here we have the thread group and under this thread group i have added a http request let me do it again for you so i am i am adding the okay let me just keep it here okay let me add the http request so under this http request first we will need to add the protocol and most of the times we can collect this from the business or from the developer for the, the, the api requests so the first thing is we will have to separate the protocol and the protocol is https and then the server name so for that until the dot com or dot 
in or UK or whatever it is, we'll have to pick it up. So I have a separate video on API in case if you want, you can check that video. And then we'll have to select the path. So in this example, I'm going to just, so we're going to just search the different categories. So we have different categories and we'll be searching that in random to create, because most of the times the users will look for the different categories. So that is the main purpose of this scenario. And then the request method is post. So we will change this to post. So, so far we have set up the API call. So we have set up the protocol ID, protocol type, and then we have set up the server name. We have set up the HTTP request method and then the path. And here I have not yet parameterized. So in case if we want to parameterize, we can do it very well. So and that will be part of the script, which we will do it in our next video. So in this one, so we have added the values. So we have added the whatever the setup with which we need for the API call. And then let's validate the script and let's see how does it work. Click on the override existing file and then so here we can see the category ID works fine. In case if I want to just check this with a different set of category, can even do that and let me execute it again. And here we can see, so previously it was, okay, let me do it again with, so that we can compare it easily. And let me run it again, overwrite. So here we can see the previous search was with fish and this search was, was with dog. So, so far we have tested this particular API script and then in our next video we will see how to parameterize and correlate for the for both of these scripts and then from then on we will move on to our next parts which is the so we are almost in the planning and designing and then we will move to the next phases the configuring and then the implementing the testing design and then executing the test so until I meet you in our next video it's bye bye from Vasan Shanmugam and Little Slaw.